guys in this video we are going to learn how to customize material ui text field so here on the screen i have two text fields here one is coming from material ui this is the default styling of material ui text field and i have a second text field here where i have applied some custom styling so you can see that there are some differences between these two text fields one of the differences is that it's having the different border and it's having the different color on the label and when we start typing into this text field this text field is also having the different font and the font size so basically in this video we are going to learn how we can customize this text field to whatever styling we want using our basic css knowledge so guys this is going to be a very interesting video stay tuned till the end of the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so now let's go to the visual studio code and start coding this text field so guys i have a new react application running here on my local host so first thing we are going to do in this application is to install material ui so i'm just going to open a new tab and search for material ui install so here on the first link i'll be able to find the command to install material ui so i'm just going to copy this installation command from here and paste it into my terminal to install material ui in this application so now material ui has been installed in this application i'm just going to remove all the default code that we have here and save this and here in material ui documentation i can go to the component section and here under the component section i'll be able to find the text field so basically we are just going to copy this basic text field from material ui and paste it into our application and here at the top i'm just going to import text field from material ui so if we look at our react application now and refresh it we should be able to see text field here so that's the default text field that is coming from material ui so here on the main div container i'm just going to put some styling to bring it in the center of the page so i'm just going to add a style tag here i'm just going to make display as flex on this container and we are going to align the items in the center of the page and we are also going to justify the content to center and i'm just going to assign a height of 100 vh to this div tag so this is just going to bring the text field in the center of the page now we can start applying all the styling that we want to apply on this text field here so as of now i have not applied any custom styling to this text field this is just a default text field that is coming from material ui so the first thing that i'm going to do in this text field is to increase the width of this text field so i can see it clearly on the screen so i'm just going to put a style tag here and increase the width to 500 pixels so if i save this this is just going to increase the width of the text field to 500 pixels so the next thing i want to try and do here is to change the font style of the text inside this text field so when user is typing they should be able to see some custom font here that we can apply to this text field this is something that is not as easy to do by using a style tag for example if i mention the font family here to something that i can choose let's say that i want to apply the font monospace on this text field so if i directly put it on a style tag this is not going to change anything here in the text field and this is something we need to learn how to customize this text field properly so to be able to change the font size i'm just going to use a sx property from material ui that can be applied to this text field and inside this property i'm just going to be using a material ui class that is mui outlined input root so that is basically the class name that is assigned to this text field by material ui so we are going to apply some styling to this class and inside this class we are going to access the input field which we can access using an input tag and here on the input field now i'm going to change my font family to monospace so let's try if it is changing now this time you can see that the font has changed on the text field now let's say that i also want to change the color of the text here so i'm just going to keep the color as gray you can see that the text color is changing here in the text field and if i want to increase the size of the font i can also do that by mentioning a property that is font size and font size is going to be 30 pixels so basically we can customize this text field by using a normal css but we have to apply that css to this class so now we have successfully changed the font size and the font style in this text field but i'm also interested to change the border styling on this text field to change the border under this class we can access a tag that is field set basically the outer area of this text field is a field set and this is the input so we have already applied styling to the input and now we are going to apply styling to the outer area of this text field that is a field set so here i can assign the border and the border is going to be one pixel solid gray 
we are not able to see any changes here so i'm just going to increase the border to five pixels so now you can see that the border width has increased to five pixels but you can see that when i click on this text field the border is again going back to the default material ui border but by default the border has changed but when i click on it and start typing in it it's going back again to the default border of material ui so i want to change the border also when the user is typing i all i want to see the thicker border not the default border that is coming from material ui so here i'm just going to make some changes so here i'm going to use an and operator to apply some additional styling on this field set so here i'm just going to access a class that is mui focused which means that when user is clicking on it and the text field is going into the focus mode let's correct the text here that is mui focused field set so that's the class that we are going to access and we are going to apply the same border that we have applied on the field set so field set is basically going to have the same border when user is clicking on it and start typing so now if we see now i start typing the border is still having the thicker outline it's not going back to the default border that was coming from material ui so this is looking good we are able to apply the border styling to this text field so the last thing that i would like to do on this text field is to change the color of this label that is coming here so when user is clicking on it the label is going at the top but the label color is still blue in color and blue is the default color of material ui so i'm just going to change the color of this label to black and how we can do that we will not be able to do that within this class within this class we can only change the input field and the area around the input field that is a border to access this label we have to access another class in material ui so i'm just going to write the styling to another class at the top so here i'm just going to access the class for the label and this class is going to be mui input label root and we are going to apply the label styling here so here i, I can change the color of the label to gray so if i click on it now you can see that it's coming gray in color i can also increase the font size if i want so i can try and increase the font size to 20 pixels so now if i click on it i will be able to see the bigger font size this is probably too big so i'm just going to reduce it to 15 pixels so that's looking much better now so by using these two material ui classes we are able to customize this text field to whatever styling we want so guys that's all i wanted to cover in this video about styling material ui text field if you have any queries on that you can leave me in the comments i'll try to answer as many queries as i can and if you found a value in this video leave a like subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next one